it's been close to a month since these strength changes have been in full effect now. And as most of you already know, the way that damage is dealt in Skyblock was completely changed forever. These changes both directly and indirectly nerfed various aspects of the game. But one that I've been thinking about more recently is the Strong Dragon set, one of the most popular early game armor sets that are currently in the game. Unstable Dragon Armor is a cheaper but slightly weaker version of the Strong Dragon set, but since these strength changes were added to the game, is this really still the case? That's what we'll be figuring out in today's video, so without further ado, let's get straight into it. Alrighty, so as you can see, today's video is going to be covering the Strong Dragon Armor set, the Unstable Dragon Armor set, and probably a couple of other things that I'll get into later on in the video. And this is actually a video that I've been thinking about for quite a long time now, because ever since the strength changes were actually released, I've had a lot of really interesting ideas that I do want to get to over the next following weeks. And of course, Unstable has been known to be very similar to Strong Dragon for a very long time now, but I haven't actually seen anybody test out the damage compared to Strong after the changes, and I figured I could be the first one to do that to see if you guys should be buying Unstable or Strong Dragon if you are in the early stages of the game. Now, if you are a frequent viewer of my channel, you'll probably realize that I'm actually not on my main profile right now. I'm currently on my second profile, and if I just pull up my stats really quickly for you all, I could show you guys what I have here. So I will go over these skills and all that stuff later on in the video, but to keep things short, I'm on my second profile to keep this as realistic as possible. Since I am more of a late game player on my main profile, but closer to an early game player on my second profile, I figured I'll do all of the damage testing over here, and that'll be as real as possible to what most of my audience should be looking like. But to get things started here, I'm going to be showing both of these armor sets, what they're good for, and what the changes have actually done to both armor sets. Then we'll hop into some damage tests on Crypticals and Endermen, and I'll cover things like the cost, which one's better, which one does more damage, or whether it's more viable to use that, and of course, all the other nitty gritty details later on in the video. So to start things off here, we're going to start off with the Unstable Dragon set. Now, both of these armor sets I have reforged to Fierce, and their enchants are pretty much the same thing. The enchants don't really matter. I don't even have hot potato books on them or anything. They're just a base, bare minimum armor set, and I've gone with Fierce and not Ancient, because Fierce is a lot more real realistic to what an early game player might actually use. And Ancient scales with Catacombs level, and I don't expect you to be able to use that. So if we just look at the stats of, say, the helmet here, you can see that it provides you plus 10 strength, plus 11% crit chance, and then plus 33% crit damage. Now, if we compare this to the Strong Dragon helmet, the Strong helmet gives you plus 35 strength, which is already a lot more than the Unstable helmet. But then when you compare the crit chance and the crit damage, it does lack a lot more crit chance, and it lacks a lot more crit damage as well, which is actually granted by the Fierce Reforge, which the Unstable Dragon set does have as a base stat. That. Now, the full set bonus of the Unstable set called Unstable Blood, it says that sometimes it strikes nearby mobs with lightning. That is true, although I'm not going to be really focusing on the set bonus in today's year because it's not really that useful, and you'll see what I mean later on when we get to it. However, the Strong Dragon set does have a pretty good full set bonus. It improves the aspect of the end's damage by 75, and then it also buffs instant transmission by upping the teleport range. It increases the duration of the speed bonus by an extra 3 seconds, and it gives you an extra bit of strength when you do cast it. Now, I'll get into both of these full set bonuses later on in the video, but what you need to know for the beginning parts of the video here is that the Unstable Dragon set's full set bonus isn't as useful, and it provides more crit damage and more crit chance, while the Strong Dragon set has a lot more strength, and the full set bonus is arguably a lot better. But now we've gone over the basic stat review of both of these armor sets, I'm gonna hop straight into some damage tests here on the Crypticals to get things started. Now, as I always do with all of my damage tests, I go over all of my gear and everything that I'll be using for this video. So as you can see, I do have a Flower of Truth in my inventory, and I do have a Liver Dagger as well. Now, I'm going to be doing my tests with the Liver Dagger because the Flower of Truth is a strength-based weapon, and because it has so much extra strength, this will actually stack with the Tarantula Helmet's ability and I will be testing with the Tarantula Helmet also in this video. And if I'm testing the Tarantula Helmet, which does actually benefit from having more strength, and I use both the Strong Set and the Flower of Truth, that does sort of skew the data really in favor of the Strong Dragon Set, and I want to keep it as fair as possible. So I'll be using this Liver Dagger right here with the Enchants, the Recom, everything that you can see on the screen right now. Now, as for the armor, you already know what this is. It's just a basic Fierce Unstable Dragon Set, and then as for the Strong Set, it is also the exact same thing. 
thing. These are the accessories that I'll be using in today's video. Most of these just have forceful on them. I haven't even bothered with reforges and I don't really have anything crazy on my second profile either way. As for the important skills, I am currently combat 22 and only foraging 17, which like I said before, it is much weaker than a lot of other people. However, it is most accurate to an early game player. And then for this video, I will not be using any pets either because it's not really fair if I use a pet that has a better pet item or maybe things do get skewed differently depending on how different pets work. So to keep things basic, I will just have raw damage numbers with the armor that I showed you, the weapons and talismans I showed you, my skills, and then no pets whatsoever. So to get started here i will get a couple of hits on the crypt ghouls with the unstable set first then i'll get some hits off of it with the strong set and i'll get my editor to overlay all of that information to make it easier for you guys to see so with that being said let's go ahead and hit this crypt ghoul doing about 24,000 damage front facing doing another 24,000 damage front facing and we follow that up with another 24,000 damage 32,000 damage with that odd different crit and then once again, 24,000 damage front facing with the unstable dragon set. And now if I swap over to the strong dragon set, if we go ahead and do the exact same thing, we once again do 24,000 damage front facing. Once again, another 24,000 damage. Same thing on the third hit, on the fourth hit, and also on the final hit. So as you can see right now, both of these armor sets are basically the exact same thing. But now that I've covered both of the armor sets with their full set bonuses, I'm going to swap over to the terrain tarantula helmet and we'll see how it compares with the three quarters and tarantula helmet so now that i've gone ahead and put on my tara helm instead of using the full set bonus of both armor sets this should up the damage by a very slight amount as the tara helmet does give you extra crit damage per strength you do have and of course it should be doing more damage with the strong set because the strong set actually gives you more strength to pair with it but with that being said we'll go ahead and get some front facing hits doing about twenty six thousand damage on the first hit there Followed by another 26,000 and then 30,000 on that hit there. Doing 26,000 damage on the fourth hit once again. And then if we go ahead and get some final hits off, we did another 26,000 damage on the fifth hit as well. And now swapping over to the strong set with the tarantula helmet for these damage tests. If we go ahead and repeat the exact same thing, we do 27,000 damage instead of 26,000 on all three of those hits right there, all front facing. We did 28,000 damage on that crypt school. And then on the final hit here, we do around 27,000 damage on the final hit too. So moving over to the end dimension now, I'm going to repeat the exact same test using the unstable set, strong set, unstable with tarantula helmet, and then strong with tarantula helmet. And that way we'll be able to see if the ender slayer does do any differences with the damage numbers, because I know a lot of early game players tend to farm endermen as well. So starting off with the full unstable set on this enderman over here, if we do hit it front facing, we do about 31,000 damage, followed up by another 31,000 thousand damage on that enderman about thirty four thousand, but my ability did proc and do extra damage there so thirty one thousand damage on the fourth hit then thirty one thousand damage on the final hit as you can see and now swapping over to the strong dragon set if we get a hit on the enderman we do thirty one thousand damage just the same as unstable followed by another thirty one thousand damage on that enderman doing about thirty one thousand damage on the third hit there on the fourth hit as well and then thirty one thousand damage on the fifth hit as well and now for unstable with the tarantula helmet, if we get a hit off, we do 34,000 damage, followed up by another 34,000 damage and then 35,000 damage, then getting 34,000 damage on the fourth hit, and then for the final hit, we do another 34,000 damage. And now last but not least for the strong dragon set and the tarantula helmet, if we get a hit on the enderman, we do 35,000 damage, followed by another 35,000 damage on both of those hits right there. Getting another 35,000 damage on the fourth hit, and then for the final hit here, we do another 35,000 damage with the strong set and tarantula helmet. So as you can see off of those damage tests, the unstable dragon set for just what it is with no fancy tarantula helmets or any special abilities actually does slightly more damage than the strong dragon armor set. But either way, both of them are extremely comparable, and the unstable set compared to the strong set is pretty much the equal amount of damage. This only changed when we did swap over to the Tarantula Helmet. And of course, like I said before, the Tarantula Helmet does use Strength to give you extra crit damage. And when you use the Strong Set with the Tara Helmet, you do still get a very, very slightly higher amount of damage than just the Unstable Set. And as a result, the Tarantula Helmet does still buff the damage. And Strong with a Tara Helm is very slightly stronger than the Unstable Set. 
So then you may be asking yourself, well, what is the point of making this video if the strong scent and tarantula helmet are still the best option? Well, to answer that, we're going to have to take a look at the cost. So if I pull up the Unstable Dragon set here in the NEU menu just to show you guys what I want to say here, the Unstable Dragon Helmet on average goes for around 140,000 coins on lower spin. Now if we take a look at the chest plate, which is around 220,000 coins, the leggings being around 190 to 200,000 coins as well, and then the boots going for basically 100,000 coins lower spin, this means that the entire price of the full Unstable Dragon set doesn't even total to 700,000 coins. Now, 700,000 coins is a very affordable price for a lot of early game players. Most people can earn this off of their minions in about a week, depending on how good you are with the game and how smart you are with your money. But if we compare this to, say, the price of a Tarantula Helmet, and then you need to factor into account that the requirements do require Tarantula Slayer 4, which arguably is a lot harder to get than just Combat 16. The Strong Dragon Leggings alone is already more expensive than the entire Unstable set for what it is, and that isn't even factoring into account the price of the chest plate being 500,000 coins, the boots being 550,000 coins, and the helmet also being around 460 to 500,000 coins. Now the Tarantula Helmet is around 475,000 coins, it's pretty comparable to the price of a Strong Dragon Helmet. But if we do compare the price of the Strong Dragon Armor set to the Unstable set, if we do add up all of the price of each individual piece, and then compare both of the prices here, the Unstable set is around 650,000 to 700,000 coins, while the Strong Dragon set with either the Tarantula Helmet or the Strong Dragon Helmet actually totals to around 2.3 million coins. Now, 2.3 million coins is significantly more than the Unstable Dragon Armor set, and that will definitely take a lot longer for most early game players to actually acquire. And if we take a look at the damage tests once again from early on in the video, if the Unstable Dragon set is only going to be doing under 1,000 damage less than the Strong Dragon set, and the requirements are also a lot easier to get, then why on earth would you go out and spend the extra 1.5 million coins just for a 1,000 damage upgrade, when you could save a lot of money by buying the Unstable Dragon set? and repurpose the money that you would have spent on strong, on some extra talismans, or even just leveling up your skills. Now, of course, you do need to remember that my profile is very underleveled, and I try to keep this as accurate as possible to as somebody who would be sort of in the early to mid-game stages. I don't have that many talismans. I haven't really optimized them either, and I've actually got them all on strength base, which is what the Forceful Reforge does. And like I showed you guys before, I am combat 22 and foraging 17. So your stats will vary and the damage between both of the armor sets may be slightly different depending on how good your stats are in this game. But from what I can see, and as a general rule of thumb, the unstable dragon set actually seems to be the significantly better option because it is so much cheaper, yet it does literally the same amount of damage. But with that being said, that's going to wrap up everything that I had for today's video. So hopefully you guys did find this useful or informative in some way. I did find this really intriguing even as a late game player myself. Because as you guys may know, I did play back when Strong Dragon was arguably the strongest mid game set. And to see that Unstable once again is going to be slightly better than that, I find that pretty cool. But if you got any further questions, comments or suggestions about anything that I had in today's video, you can always come visit me when I'm live over on Twitch. I stream every Friday, Saturday and Sundays. The links are down in the description below. We tend to have a lot of open discussion over there, and that's just a really good place to be. But with all that being said, that's gonna wrap up everything that I had for today's video. And as always, take care and peace. What is Jog addicted to that first pull? What are you smoking? What are you smoking? Why did Fluffy make his own one? Oh my god. Ah! Why did you do that? Oh my god. Why is it so different? I'm a streamer now. I'm there. <laughs> Guys, help me. What do you mean, bro? What was that squeak? Juice? Juice?